Hi everyone and welcome to this quick video which is going to be showing some of the new features of the reinforcement in Revit 2014. So I've put together a, a fairly simple model here. You can see we've got simple um, column and a concrete beam. Um, I haven't used the macros to produce the reinforcement in this instance, so I've literally just um, manually defined the bar. And that's really some of the new features that I want to actually uh, be able to show you. Um, before we look at the new features, I'll just show you the effects of uh, what these new features give us. So you can see here I've got a, a concrete beam. If I now swap this out for a slightly deeper section, you'll see instantly that all of the bar parametrically changes, including these uh, U-bars that I've got set up here. And it'll be the same thing with the column as well. So if I pick the column and I swap it out for a, a different section size like that, again, you can see all the bar change. Now, with the beam, if I now swap that out for, so 400 by 800, again, you can see um, that everything there has resized completely. So how does that actually work in practice? Well, the key thing now is that we can edit the constraints of reinforcement bar. So you can see I've selected this bar here. If you take a look up on the ribbon here, you'll see I've got this button that says edit constraints. Now, if I select that, what we now have are these uh, segments on the reinforcement bar. And you'll now see that on the segment here, I can actually connect it rather than to a cover face, I can actually connect it to another bar. So in this case, uh, the link, which is the HA uh, bar here. Yeah. So that's really, really useful. So you can see now um, the back face of that is actually connected to the top there. And you can see now we've got all these segments we've, which we can highlight and show. Now, over and above that, you can also see that you can actually put constraint offsets in and fix those as well. So that's really, really useful. Okay. Another problem that was happening previously is that when you drew a shape in Revit, it would recognize the shape based on the hooks. So you can now control that and turn that on and off, which again is quite good. Let's have a look at some other features. So what I'm going to do is just open up an elevation of the bar. Um, you'll notice now that you can uh, straight away see colors on all the reinforcement bar. So if I now go into the object styles, Autodesk have now uh, given us subcategories for reinforcement. So if I go to structural reinforcement here, yeah, you'll see that we have all of the bar sizes through here, and then we can configure colors for each one. And obviously the great thing with that as well is that if I go into visibility graphics in here, and I went back down to the structural reinforcement in here, so let's just go and find that. And then you'll see in here that we could now start to turn off certain uh, bar groups. So I could turn off, for example, all of the eight diameter bar. Uh, so that, that's a, a bit of an improvement as well. The other thing that's been included within the template um, is a reinforcement schedule. Now, this was something you'd have to have uh, built yourself in the past. Um, it wasn't a problem, but um, the, you can now see they've built this in um, for us, so we haven't actually got to build that. And to aid the production of drawings, they've also included an ISA4 uh, drawing sheet uh, for us to drop our RC schedules onto. So again, that, that's a, another very useful addition. Now, one of the um, things that's still happening with Revit is the once you've modelled the bar like this, you obviously would want to better detail that correctly by perhaps just showing the first link or the middle link and then having a range indicator that's going across that. That's still something that uh, Revit can't actually do at the moment. So it's still quite difficult to actually get proper looking reinforcement drawings out of the system. But I think what Autodesk are doing is they're getting all of the modeling tools right first with all of the constraints so we can have parametric bar and then I guess we can uh, get, get the drawing tools working uh, a bit later on. So that's uh, the potential roadmap for this really. Okay, so as I was saying, there are some other um, other good settings that we can actually go through. So you'll see here that we've now got um, rounding and rounding overrides. Now, before I show you the overrides, let's just take a look at the rounding itself. So if I go under here to basically reinforcement settings, and we look in here, you'll now see that we can actually set up rounding. So obviously that's great when you're trying to produce um, bar bending schedules. Yeah? So the bar length is now rounding up to a whole 25 millimeters. Each segment is rounding up to uh, five millimeters. And you, as you can see, you can go to custom if you want to change it, although that's uh, that's the standard for us in the UK. So that's actually quite good. And as I've said, you can pick on each bar here and you can actually then um, override that if you wanted to per 
uh, per bar. Now, if I just go into some of the cross sections here, I broke uh, let's see this one here actually. Um, I have broken some rules. In fact, that's looking at the wrong section. Let me just um, go back into this again. What I want to do is actually cut a section where I have the uh, two main button bars like this. Um, what I've actually done is I've still used a line there to actually make sure that this um, bottom straight bar um, is always sitting tangentially to this uh, U bar sitting in here. So I have done that. And obviously when you do that, you will get errors and warnings show. So you can see I've got a warning here. And if I go and, and have a look at that related warning, um, that would obviously then tell me uh, that I shouldn't really be using constraints. But um, as I say, I haven't really found any uh, better way of actually doing that at the moment. Okay, so I hope that's been useful. That's really just been to show you a, a quick overview there of some of the new rebar features.